someone on the OnePlus subreddit recently discovered a way to improve performance in a unique way on the OnePlus 3 and the OnePlus 3T if they're running Oxygen OS. Now if you are running something like Lineage OS or a custom ROM that's based on AOSP or Lineage OS then you're going to be fine. You won't need to do this as there won't be a difference in performance. But there has been multiple tests done that show doing this change will actually increase the frames per second you get on your device. And it will increase, so that means it will increase performance while you're using your applications. Now to do this tweak we need to have root access to the device. So you're going to need to have the bootloader unlocked. You're going to need to have TWRP installed. And you're going to need to install SuperSU or some other root solution. If you're unfamiliar with how to do any of that be sure to check the description below this video as it'll have a link to the full tutorial that will walk you through all of that. So once you have all of that set up, you just need to download a kernel tweaking application. I'm going to be using kernel auditor or however it's pronounced. So once you have that installed, you're going to want to open up that kernel application and grant it root access. And then we're just going to go into the CPU section. Now what makes this particularly unique is what we're specifically changing. Now this could be fixed. It seems like there's a bug in the kernel or something. Something is messed up with the kernel code. And this very well could be fixed in a future update but for now it's actually improving performance so as it is right now the big cores so we only want to modify the cpu governor for the big cores specifically as you can see where they also have little cores here we don't want to mess with the little cores instead we just want to customize the big cores now by default it's set to interactive now the interactive CPU governor, what it does is it will ramp up the CPU clock frequency whenever you touch the screen. And you can see that happen on screen. As that little graph now, it's sitting at 14%, 16%, 10%. But whenever I touch the screen, it's going to ramp up. Now if you're just doing quick scrolls, you're really only going to be touching that screen for a split second. And what Interactive does is as soon as you're done touching that screen, it's going to drop down the, the CPU frequency. So it's, it's speculated that OnePlus has made Interactive ramp down very, very quickly. So what you can do is actually tap on that and change the CPU governor for the big cores only, remember big cores only, to conservative. And this is why it's a unique modification because conservative is usually not a performance CPU governor. Conservative is usually meant for battery saving and saving your battery generally means you're sacrificing some sort of performance somewhere. However, for some reason, and, and I'll have links to these tests that have shown, performance is increased whenever you set the big cores to the conservative governor. Once you have that set, you can choose to apply on boot so that those changes will always be in place. 
whenever you boot the phone up and that's literally all you have to do change the big core CPU governor to conservative set it to boot if you want to keep that setting and then go about using your phone like normal